Hello everybody, welcome to the first video in a series of videos about trigonometry tricks. My name is Zach Billings, I'm a tutor at the Natural Social Science Lab at Miami-Dade College, Kendall Campus. In this video, I will be covering a trick which you can use to memorize the sine and cosine values of your basic angles. For a quick review, basic angles are the angles you will be using in any trigonometry class. They are 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. The values for sine and cosine that are associated with each angle are ultimately derived from the unit circle. But that is all just technicalities. We don't have to worry about that with the trick that I'm now about to show you. Okay, to use this trick, we're going to start with our hand. Everything happens on one hand. First thing you do is looking at our fingers, we label each one with a basic angle. The thumb is 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45, 60, and 90 degrees. Now here comes the tricky part. Any value that we get to get our final answer, we will be taking that value, taking its square root, and dividing it by 2. So for example, if we got the number 1, we would take the square root of 1 and divide it by 2 to get 1 half. If we had the value 3, we would take the square root of 3 and divide it by 2 to get square root of 3 over 2. We now have everything we need to actually use the trick. So, let's do an example. We're going to start with our hand. We're going to look at the sine and cosine values of 30 degrees. So I'm going to take my 30 degree finger, put it down. Notice on my thumb side I'm left with 1, and on the opposite side I'm left with 3. The 1 and the 3 that we got from looking at our hand, we do just like we did before. We take the square root of each one and divide it by 2 and simplify. And this gives us our values. To figure out which value is your sine and which value is your cosine, you always look at your thumb. Your thumb points towards the sine value. Since we got the 1 from the thumb, the resulting number, 1 half, is our sine value. The other number, square root 3 over 2, is our cosine. Now let's run through the rest of our angles. Continuing on to 45 degrees, 45 degrees is our middle finger. Notice we have 2 on one side, 2 on the other. Do the same as before to get the square root of 2 over 2. Once you have those numbers, thumb side is sine. Opposite side is cosine, and you're done. Continuing on to the next angle, 60 degrees, put down our 60 degree finger. Notice you have three fingers on one side, one on the other, so we have the numbers 3 and 1. We do the same thing as before. Take the square root, divide by 2, simplify. We're left with the values square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. The thumb side is sine, so the sine of 60 is square root of 3 over 2 and the cosine of 60 is 1 half. Our next angle is 90 degrees. Again, we put down our 90 degree finger. We look on one side, on the thumb side, you'll notice you have four fingers. Now on the other side, here's the trick, you'll notice there are no fingers. For that, we put zero, because there are no fingers, zero fingers. So on the thumb side, we have four. The opposite side, we have zero. Again, exact same procedure. We take the square root, divide by 2, and simplify. And we are left with 1 and 0. 1 is on the thumb side, so the sine of 90 degrees is 1. And the cosine of 90 degrees is 0. Now for our last basic angle, 0 degrees. And this one I left for last simply because we're actually using our thumb. Notice if you put down your your thumb for zero degrees. You have four fingers being held up on one side of your thumb. On the other side there are no fingers so we're gonna have again zero on one side and four on the other. Same exact procedure take the square root of each number divide by two and we will be left with zero and one once we simplify. Our what would usually be our thumb side the zero 
is our sine. So the sine of zero degrees is zero, and the cosine of zero degrees is one. And that's it. I hope this helps you guys a lot in whatever you may be doing. If you ever have any questions, come by the lab. We are in building two on the Kendall campus in room 2119. Our phone number is 305-237-0813. And you can call to see when we're open, uh, to make an appointment with a tutor, anything you need. Have a great day and good luck with all your studies.